All right. Based on what I'm seeing, it looks like these two episodes, episodes 140 and 141, are the last two non-filler episodes before we hit a little filler arc, which I don't know if you guys are hyped or not for that, but then we should be getting hopefully into the spade arc. I really don't know. I am just excited to watch Black Clover. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episodes 140 and 141. Like I said, this one's called A Favor for Julius. Last episodes, we had the Zora and the Vanessa episode, getting their own individual character development, going back, figuring out about training, trying to develop so we can become that stage zero so we can defeat Megacula. So I'm super excited about more training, super excited about where we're going to go. I want to go to the Heart Kingdom for training. I want to do this. I want to see Gaja again. You know, Laura Pechka, Undine, I want to see all of them. I am hyped to get in this, though. Uh, hopefully you guys are as well. Don't forget, if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description down below for you guys. Make sure to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episodes 140 and 141. Let's do this all right back at the clover kingdom we got marks we got julius dressed up as kenji from bungo stray dogs mm, i'm curious i'm curious if this is going to be a julius and marks episode all right back at the black bulls base more training it seems Sea Dragon's Water Ball. Ooh, animation looking a little crisp. Okay, yeah, we're not going easy. He said you really don't have to go easy on me. Magic who? Oh. Look how strong Asta physically is. Oh, Sally! There's only one person who does gel magic in this whole show. Miss Sally. Wasn't she in like some work release little prison camp with everyone else? Radez, Valtos, Jack was watching them. The white mushroom. Oh, Marks. Who's this other gentleman with him? Magic item research lab, specially appointed researcher Makusa. Asta already agreed to have her run experiments on him. He already made his own deal. My man is brolic. He's a man of his word. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's some great timing. What's up, guy? No, wait, no, guys, no. Wait, no, guys, where are you going? Hey. What? <laughs> That's hilarious. So Sally is just going around, going rogue. She's going to be running experiments on all our black bulls. So through the salamander itself, it can hit you with that magic liquid. And he just magically explodes. You can turn yourself into like a a mana Marty Dom, you know. Mm -hmm. Yep, there goes Charmy. Just literally got pooped out. Mm hmm. Just stop blowing other people up. You can do it. <laughs> Willing to sacrifice himself for his homies. That's always Asta, you know. Is Sally. Radas and Valtos and Sally were kind of essential in that, you know, so. So here we go. Yeah, please knock me out before you do anything. Just a piece of his hair, huh? Really? That's it? Oh, 
And you said keeping your promises is important, you know? Come on. You're not the only one keeping your promises. Come on. Yeah, I'm not. His, his nails aren't under his pecs, but hey. Look at Asta. Good guy, Asta. Willing to put his body on the line as long as it helps other people. <laughs> what? I think she's low-key realizing how much she likes the Black Bulls. Mmm. You can always do the same things you love, just for the betterment of people. You know, it doesn't have to be at the cost of people. Oh, I was like, what is this big bird? It is my man, Nozel. A ran- uh, Is it really called a random village? A random? I, are, is this a joke? So it seems like another one of those half-half episodes where the first half was all about Sally. And the second half is going to be Fuego, Lian, and Nozel going to a random village. conceal their identities they'd have to like change their hairdos or change their clothes or something i've never seen nozel not look like that oh they're just putting robes on you guys can't go to like target kmart okay I'm curious if they can blend in with the masses. <laughs> Wowzers. Chrono Vala? We know Chrono is friends of Chrono Vala's. Old lady? Oh, old lady is Julius, who just made a disguise. Yep. Chrono Vala, so sh Okay. Yeah, it's, it's Julius in his old lady disguise. That's hilarious. Helps him find customers, get a little business going. Once you mention Julius, everyone's happy. Whoa, Chrono Vala? That's my old gal. I know me her go way back. Well, this bag of solid unobtainium gold will be like. Look at what going in. Giving him a little financial support. It's not going to do anything to him. He's royalty, literally. He's got more money than he'll probably ever use. Yes, look at, aw, look at the next generation of, of citizens, Clover Kingdom citizens, come on. I am the mayor of this village, mayor. <laughs> Were they just not even trying in this episode? It's just so funny to me, I love it, you know. It's just like a parody, but it's like, we're going to a random village, and this is the mayor, mayor. <laughs> We're being watched, or we hear something outside. We got the bandits are here. Oh my, these are more like ninjas than... Ba oh, it's the villagers. There's no way it's not the villagers. I think they're just so down bad on their money and their finances that anyone who comes to visit, they just rob them. That's going to be either the mayor or the shopkeeper we talked to earlier. Yep. Mm. That's some social commentary on the government helping people out from natural disasters incidents, you know? Take me in. I respect it. 
trying to take sole responsibility. Maybe this is why Julia sent you out here, you know? So we could show you guys firsthand what villages, especially in the Forsaken Realm, you know, that aren't super rich like they're used to, are going through, you know? And it's always great to get this humbling experience for these two. He's gonna show them. Motherfucker, we're royalty. We're some of the top magic knights there are. So this not only opens to their eyes to villagers like this, but maybe their entire Forsaken realm, you know? So, like, there are, I'm sure, a couple of villagers at least like this. Shouts out Leopold. Everyone helping out. That's what I think this was. A perspective-changing mission, you know? Especially for these two, because these two are not only some of the strongest magic knights, but some of the most honorable. Like, I truly believe that if anyone were threatening their kingdom, they would do anything to their... They put their lives on the line to do this. So, having them see this makes them think, oh, I need to start putting my life in the line in different ways to help out the kingdom, you know? It's not all just about action and violence. It's, you know, you gotta help these fucking... You gotta help these people out. He's one of the only people... Especially because he knows the duality of nobility and, and being a peasant. He's one of the only people on the upper echelon who cares about the Forsaken Realm or the, the common people, we should say. It's a fucking tragedy. Alright, on to the next episode. Episode 141. This one is called The Golden Family. Now, this is the start of the next opening, opening 12. I have been told that there are no spoilers on this one, so I will be watching this one the first way through. So enjoy that, but here we go, guys. Hmm. It has been a long time since we've seen the young ones. Young Asa and young Yuno. They will be your family. Ergo the Black Bulls. I wonder if this is... Because we know the Black Bulls is family. We know that. I wonder because it's called the Golden Family. I wonder if this will be about Yuno and the Golden Dawn. Yeah, I don't recall that opening. Watching that ever. I, that was dope. Also, I knew what's about the Golden Dawn. Let's do it. Shiren and Hammon. Glass magic and Shiren was the spatial, not spatial, but the map. He could do like the, you know, the map. The Toil and David. We always know Alagdora. Well, while you were attacking the kingdom, we were saving, right? Yeah, that's just his personality. He's just that kind of person. Look at those stairs. Oh my god. Shouts out William, especially knowing I can have full faith in William, not somewhat suspecting he's the eye of the midnight sun's leader the whole time. It feels a lot better seeing him now. Saucy. Saucy was that original one where Magna, Noel, and Asta went right with the Ice Mage, if I remember correctly. Okay, so this will be good character development and relationship building between a lot of the Golden Dawns. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be Nick, right? Yep. That is, oh my lord, a throwback right there. That was like episode like 8, 9, 10, right? Those are some flaming boars. They look way more scary than last time. With his map. Yep, stone. Stone model of the world. That's what it was called. I love how it shows the forest and everything. Mmm. I agree. I agree. Look for the root of the issue. I do love this song when they play it. Alright, Sand Coffin, chill out, Gara. Ooh, that compass magic is super handy. It's dope seeing her in good hands again, you know, not going against us as well.
Oh, is there poison on their tusks? What was that? Yeah, they seem to be eating these berries or whatever they are. And maybe it's making them sick. Maybe it's making them aggressive. It looks like a devil fruit from One Piece. That's what they're called, right? Devil fruit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's just thinking he's doing what's right, you know? Isn't that your number one goal? Do what's right? Because his grandfather was the mayor, right? Who, like, died, sacrificed himself here during that time. Wasn't his name, not the mayor, but this little kid, wasn't his name Nick? I think I have it on my other page on these notes. <laughs> He's like, but Asa's not going to be the way. It's going to be me. Mmm. Diamond's Border near Kitten. That's why I recognize the name Kitten earlier. That's where they just were. Kitten was the place we went to earlier where they invaded, right? Alec Dora will lead again. One of these days, one of these days, you will. And who might that be, Langris? Absolutely. So, makes sense. I don't know what it's going to take. Literally, you know, saving the world in front of him to be like, huh, maybe this kid is kind of useful. Hmm, an individual sand restraint. Really handy. Oh, they're not as easy as these boars. They're a little handy. They're a little better. Magic items. Still no match for you, no. That is so handy, I'm telling you. So as they're coming in from the top, we got our other squad coming in from the bottom. Good job, guys. We pinched them. Met up right in the middle. Ooh. Who is this guy? Former senior Magic Knight. Hmm. Black Earth? What the hell does that mean? Black Earth? Sludge Erosion? I like his grimoire, though. Oh, he got a six. That's big. It's like an electric explosion once it's six. And he has another item that sucks in magic. Ooh, that's a strong spell right there. But like it just said, that's crazy. Gentle breeze. Everyone's just nonstop attacking him, seeing if we could overload him. Alec Dora making one of the final moves, grabbing him off guard with the leg. It is kind, it is kind of crazy though. Even though he does have magic items, that we need all this teamwork against one mage, you know. 
I guess what Laura Petrica said was right, you know? It's not really about the number of mages, it's about the strength of the mage. Even though, like I said, he's cheating with his magic items. Get that vase away from him so he can't suck up any more magic. But he was using that as a cover for Yuno's charged up attack, which you don't have the advantage over. So that's some great teamwork from Alagdora and Yuno right there. And Alagdora technically gave the spotlight to Yuno with that one. Mmm, at least he's very open about it. Mmm, that's a good answer. It's a really good answer. Mmm, Klaus is a great person to, to come in at this, you know? Klaus has been one of my favorites since. <laughs> come on, we're talking about the goat Asta. Come on. This is exactly why William sent Alagdora on this mission. Mm. That little flashback they showed at the beginning. Your comrades, your family, come on. Shouts out, you know. Very slowly. But coming around, coming around. Well, that felt like a few, instead of two normal episodes, that felt like a, uh, like a, a few like miniature episodes. Started off with the whole Sally experiments, Marks, Julius, trying to come up with new magic items to help us in our fight against the Spade Kingdom and the Devils, which makes sense in terms of like the Suicide Squad or people who have great talents and great knowledge, but only have used them for bad. We have to try to come up with some sort of ulterior motivation for them to help them use their powers for good and uh sally was able to get some great data so hopefully her and i think his name was makusa uh masuka something along those lines can come up with some great magic items hopefully they actually come back and we see them and i'm like oh hey that's a reference to this seeing as how this is anime canon and not manga canon it might not be the case but i do hope we see sally come back at least at a certain point maybe with a new magic item or two saying hey you know this is the results of what happened last time that would be dope also fantastic getting a perspective change on a lot of our higher ups royals nobility like this is what julius's goal has been from the beginning in terms of changing this perspective on peasants and, and the common people but sending fuegolian and nozel over to uh, it's not saucy i forget a random village how did i forget that sending them over to a random village and having them help out and seeing what these people are actually going through is a first person, you know, it's a great way to have them actually change the perspective by literally stepping in the other person's shoes and seeing what they're, what's going on in their mind. So I really appreciate that from Julius. He's doing his little, he's doing great things for the kingdom, even though he has no power. I tell you, you know, he's a great leader, so he has to do what he has to do. And then obviously I love the episode with, uh, you know, and cause we've had literally at this point 140 episodes building up the black bulls as our family so we know that no even questions about that they are the fam bam but it's a great little one piece episode to try to make the golden the golden dawn you know's family similar to how the black bulls are to ours and yes they're very different they're very stuck up everyone's gonna have a different squad but at the end of the day they will work together save this kingdom do what needs to be done and they're good people, you know. Shouts out to everyone that was in there. Shouts out to Alagdora, Nazel, and Fuegolian's perspective change on everything. It was super dope, super cool to see. I love character development. Oh, great episodes. We are getting into some filler after this. I know a good amount of you guys are excited for them, saying it's a good arc. I have no idea what to expect. If you guys did enjoy, though, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell, check out that Patreon, all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water, tell someone you love them. Be safe out there. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.